Hello, and thank you so much for joining me for this Empire Global Partners webinar, and welcome back to those who have been with us before. Today we are going to explore how you can start a foreign currency exchange. We have a lot of great information to cover, but first, if you are joining us for the first time, I'm Pam Sullivan, Webinar Analyst for Empire Global Partners. Before we get started, please direct your attention to the email address here on your screen, info at empireglobal.partners. This is the best way to get in touch with us about anything we go over here today, so rather than using the chat box that might be here on your screen, please use this email instead. There are representatives who monitor this 24-7, so I assure you that you will receive a reply back to all of your questions quickly and confidentially. Leonella Rook is the content expert at Empire Global Partners, and he has developed this and many other online training sessions just for you. Lionel is Senior Managing Counsel with Empire, an international business attorney, and global leader in international business compliance, financial technology, online gaming, and Forex licenses, just to name a few. A little more about Empire Global. They are a full-service professional consultancy providing an array of specialized services to clients from all around the world. They are pioneers in financial services licensing, gaming and forex licenses, strategic legal planning for online casinos, cryptocurrency, and serving the international business needs of thousands of clients. Be sure to check them out online at www.empireglobal.partners. All content provided here is for informational purposes only, and it is not to be substituted for legal advice. Foreign currency exchange is a highly regulated sector, and it is essential that all steps that you take when considering starting or operating your own exchange are in compliance with the law. The experts at Empire Global Partners have worked with thousands of clients to help them make the right decisions for their particular situation and jurisdiction and minimize any extra costs or fines that could arise from legal oversight. It is highly recommended to get in touch with your legal team just as soon as possible into the licensing process. We have broken up the content into a few different sections, so in our time together, we will first take a look at what a foreign exchange is. So just a quick review of that, and we'll also take a look at the different types of exchanges. And just to note, as we go through our content, you may hear me refer to foreign currency exchanges as Forex exchanges, so just so you know when you see that abbreviation. The second part covers how Forex exchanges work and the steps to take to establish your own foreign currency exchange, including the documentary requirements, the licensing requirements, and also the legal framework. There are some key service providers who will be required to operate a foreign currency exchange, so I'll make sure you have a good understanding of what to look for and how to find the best providers. And lastly, I will let you in on the preferred destination to start a Forex exchange according to the experts at Empire Global. So let's jump right in here with a definition of what a foreign currency exchange is. In simple terms, foreign currency exchange is a business that has the right to convert one currency to another Forex customer. A Forex exchange can be an independent business or can be linked to another business such as a bank, post office, or even an electronic money institution. So why are Forex exchanges important and why do they generate such a good business? Well, the answer here is that people now conduct trade across borders and they need to pay clients and customers from across the globe. There are also lots of people who travel overseas every year and they need foreign currency during their travels. Students now commonly study abroad and they require foreign currency exchange to pay for their fees and their accommodation, food, and foreign countries. This means that establishing a foreign currency exchange has turned into a very good business. In addition to this, there are large corporations that need huge amounts of foreign currency for their daily transactions, which involve import and export of commodities and services. At the moment, the government strongly regulates foreign currency exchange, considering that the foreign currency rates change depending on demand and supply, and they are crucial to the functioning of the economy. So what are the different types of foreign exchanges that we have, and how do these different exchanges operate? Well, there are two types of foreign exchanges. The first among them is what we see every day on the streets and in the shopping malls around us. And they are called currency exchange counters, which are physical exchanges. These exchanges are operated through physical kiosks in malls, airports, or offices which allow the exchange of one foreign currency to another to customers who walk in and bring their foreign currency. The customer brings in foreign currency in the form of cash, and that is notes and coins, or they may also bring in foreign currency in the form of money orders or traveler's checks. 
The counter-based physical exchanges are very popular and are present across the globe. They are also one of the most popular ways to get foreign currency for the average person who would like to have physical currency in hand. The second group of exchanges operates from websites or mobile apps. These are online exchanges and allow you to load a particular currency that you would prefer for your debit card or bank transfer and then receive a new currency back in your bank account or at a physical office. Within the online Forex exchanges, there are three types. There are Forex exchanges which are linked with a money transmitter. These are very commonly known across the world and operate from websites or apps which allow you to load money onto the website or the app and then transmit it to another country. The conversion of the amount that you have loaded to the currency of the new country happens online and the receiver can receive the payment in the new currency in the country where you have sent it. The next group is Forex Trading Facilities. These exchanges allow you to hold and trade currencies to earn profits. They are not meant for the average person who would like to convert one currency to another for practical purposes, but instead they are meant for traders who would like to earn money due to the change in exchange rates from one currency to another. The last group is online exchanges that are not linked with money transmitters. These are generally banks or financial institutes that permit you to change your currency and then save it in your account in the form of the desired currency. This means that you might load the currency of your home country to the bank online or by depositing it offline and then the bank converts it into your desired currency, which is generally a more stable currency such as US dollars, Swiss francs, or euros, and then it saves it in the most stable currency in the account. This method is popular in countries that have volatile currencies and where people might want to save money in a more stable currency. Now that we have a good understanding of some basics, I think we're ready to move ahead onto what our main focus is for this session, which is how to establish an exchange with a money transmission facility. First, let's explore some key questions. How exactly does an online foreign exchange with money transmission facility work? And who are the players involved in converting the currency? An online foreign currency exchange depends on three key players, banks, payment gateways, and brokers. The exchange starts with the building of an online platform or a mobile application that allows customers to load a particular currency. Next, the funds are converted for the Forex brokers into their desired currency. The brokers also provide the conversion rates based on the currency that you have loaded and to which the new currency will take place. These rates are also displayed to the customer. And the Forex exchange generally adds a commission based on the amount of the transfer. The banks now come into the picture at this point and they aid in the transfer process of the funds and also in storing the funds for onward transmission as long as they are required to be stored. They also provide liquidity to the brokers. The banks charge a fee for providing these facilities. The money is generally transferred by the bank through SWIFT and interbank transfer arrangements and the final amount is distributed to the bank of the home country where it is received after transmission. This amount is generally received in the currency, which the customer has specified at the time of making the transfer, and it can be different from the currency which was initiated for transmission through the Forex exchange. Considering that billions of people transfer funds overseas into different currencies across the globe, establishing a Forex exchange with money transmission facilities is a very lucrative business. This has also meant that dealing in foreign exchange and money transmission are highly regulated and require licensing the in licensing almost all The licensing and documentation process, which we will now discuss, varies from one country to another. You must get in touch with the local attorneys in your jurisdiction where you want to operate so that you can obtain a license in that jurisdiction. A license to deal with foreign currency or Forex is essential in most countries. These licenses enable you to deal with foreign currencies and also change one currency to another. There may be three main types of licenses that are required to establish the Forex exchanges. The first is the license to deal with the foreign currency itself. This is required in most countries where you will operate. And the second key license is a license to transmit funds. This is the license that allows you to transmit the amount which has been loaded onto your mobile application or website to another country so that the recipient in the country can receive it. The last registration, which is also required in most countries, is registration for anti-money laundering and anti-terrorist funding regulation. This is essential as per international law and almost all countries will require you to register for AML and ATF reporting services. 
Based on the country where you will operate, you will also need certain other documents and you will also need to fulfill certain requirements of the country. So let's go over all of these documents now. You may need to register a local company and furnish company documentation, such as the Memorandum of Association and the Articles of Association Bylaws and Certificate of Good Standing. Your local company may also need to be registered for tax purposes in the country where you will be obtaining your license to operate. Tax registration is mandatory in most jurisdictions. You will also have to fulfill minimum capital requirements to establish a Forex exchange and obtain the license. Many countries will also require any company applying for a Forex exchange license to furnish adequate documentation showing that the people who are involved in the business have experience in dealing in the financial services sector. You will also be required to present a list of personnel who will operate the business and the policies that they will follow when the business is operating. And finally, you may also need to submit documentation that covers security checks and background checks for the key personnel or the shareholders of the licensed applicant for the Forex exchanges. The key partners you will need for a Forex business are the foreign exchange brokers, the banks, and the payment gateways. Brokers provide you with the quotes and they enable the exchange of the currencies through their trading modules. The brokers normally charge a commission for this purpose. The brokers are essential because they enable you to receive in the exchange which is required for the conversion process. The banks aid in the transmission and distribution of foreign currency at the desired destination. They are also responsible for the transmission of money in the country where you have received it to the destination country where they have to be dispersed. The payment gateways are entrusted with enabling the customer to make the necessary deposits through your website, which will then be used for transmission to the new country. The amounts which are loaded onto your website or mobile application have to first be received by the payment gateway, which allows payment through various modes including credit card, debit cards, or bank transfers. It might be no surprise that information technology is the backbone of your entire business. They develop and operate the back-end systems, such as linkages to the broker engine and the payment gateways, and they also develop the front-end platforms, which are the things that are experienced by your customers, like your website and your app. Your IT team also keeps the servers running and the backups readily accessible. Having an experienced and professional IT team in place is essential. It will help you build a good reputation with your customers for a website that is always available and that can be relied upon in times of need. And now, as promised, I am going to let you in on our recommendation of the destination of choice for where to start your Forex exchange business. The experts at Empire Global Partners recommend Kazakhstan as the ultimate destination in starting a Forex exchange. Now, the question that we get asked a lot is, why Kazakhstan? Well, to start, and you may not realize that Kazakhstan is an emerging global financial services destination, and it's now considered to be one of the pioneers in financial innovation. And of the many benefits we'll cover, the key advantage that Kazakhstan offers is, first, it's a very stable country that's taking steps to promote its financial services industry. Kazakhstan also has specialized legislation in place for promoting the financial services industry. Up to 100% of foreign ownership is possible for local companies that operate a financial services business. The banks, payment processors, and other ancillary service providers are readily available to support businesses in Kazakhstan. This is highly beneficial because in many other countries, banks and payment processors are not willing to work with online businesses. And this could hurt business prospects and it adds hurdles to establishing and operating your business. And the final piece that really puts this all together is that the experts at Empire Global will provide you detailed guidance on establishing your exchange business in Kazakhstan. Exchanges are a highly regulated sector, and it is essential that all steps that you take are in compliance with the law. And Empire Global's expert guidance is an essential part of your journey. They will handle the entire process, starting from licensing to establishing contacts with the banks, payment gateways, and the financial service providers, right down to the establishment of your online Forex exchange. They are truly your partner every step of the way. Kazakhstan also has a time and cost advantage on their side. The entire process of obtaining a license for a Forex exchange can be completed within six to eight weeks, subject to the completion and availability of all of the required documents. The license for a Forex exchange in Kazakhstan is very affordable and the total cost will not exceed 50,000 euros. 
Kazakhstan boasts one of the simplest processes in obtaining a Forex exchange license. There are three key steps in this process. The first step is to get the documentation ready, which is relatively simple, but before we get into what those documents are, we'll finish going over the steps for the licensing process. The second step is to incorporate a local company. And this is a relatively simple process that Empire Global can assist you in this step. And this is required in order to apply for the license. So once you have your local company established, you can apply for the license. And like I mentioned earlier, there are three key documents that you will need to provide to Empire Global in order to initiate the licensing process for your new Forex exchange in Kazakhstan. These documents are a copy of your passport, which has to be apostilled. Secondly, you'll need to submit a power of attorney form issued to Empire Global. This has to be witnessed by a notary public and apostilled. The last document is a due diligence questionnaire completed in its entirety with information about your business. Someone from Empire Global will provide the format for this questionnaire via email for you. Three key regulatory authorities are involved in the entire licensing process for a Forex exchange in Kazakhstan. The first of them is the Company's Registry of Kazakhstan. The Company's Registry is involved in the registration of the TOO company, registered in Kazakhstan and required for the licensing for Forex exchange. The next is the Agency under the Republic of Kazakhstan for Regulation and the Development of the Financial Market. It involves the issuance of the permission to commence the Forex business in Kazakhstan. The last key agency which has a key role in licensing is the Ministry of Economy, which provides permission to operate in the financial services sector of the country. One of the final pieces in the process is to ensure that you have established a local company in Kazakhstan. Since this is an important factor in being able to apply for a license there, let's briefly go over what is involved and how to do that. The process starts with the submission of documents to the registry to commence the application process. The process of registration of your company generally takes around one week. After registration, you will receive a link through which you can verify the registration of your company has been completed, and you can find the name of the company in the commercial register. This verification process can be completed entirely online. A business identification number is also provided upon successful registration, and this is a single identification number that can be used for other purposes as well, such as for taxation and statistical agencies. The financial services registration with the Ministry of Economy is essential to operate in the financial services industry in Kazakhstan. In this process, the documentation will be required for registration with the Ministry of Economy and will be prepared by Empire Global, and the applications, requisite details will be submitted to the Ministry for approval. The registration process should normally be completed within a few weeks, and the decision and final approval are provided by the Ministry to operate as a financial services provider. The final license that you will need to acquire is the license from the Agency of the Republic of Kazakhstan for the regulation and the development of the financial market. The key documents which are required for this purpose are that you need to submit your personal information and application forms in English. And then, after the submission of the documentation, a lawyer will defend your interest before the agency if required. And finally, there will be a process conducted by the agency for which they will verify the documents and permission is expected after four weeks of submission of the application. Once the permission is received, the Forex Exchange can commence business. And as I mentioned before, Empire Global will be a key partner from day one in your journey to operating your Forex Exchange business. To get you started, they will assist in opening a bank account with full IBAN access to enable you to conduct your business. They will also put you in contact with the recommended payment service providers so that you can set up payment gateways to accept payment from customers. They will also ensure that you'll be sent without delay your bank account information and documents along with the company registration documents. Before we end our session today, I want to make sure I highlight some of the other important factors that might help persuade your decision to choose Kazakhstan as the destination of choice. From the flexible license it provides to the various other forms of financial services you can offer, such as cryptocurrency businesses, e-wallet services, electronic money services, payment service providers, and broker essentials. 
Kazakhstan is a stable economy with a recognized and developed regulatory framework, which makes it very attractive for businesses. And there is no restriction on the entry of foreign customers in the financial services business in Kazakhstan. This means that you can establish your business and also receive customers from abroad. Now let's address a few other major concerns which, like many business owners, you might be hesitant about, particularly in the financial services industry like tax issues, whether you need to appoint nominees or local staff, and questions about any needs for high paid up capital. Luckily, Kazakhstan has some solutions to all of these concerns which should put your mind at ease. First, they provide a low default tax rate of 20%, and even that can be reduced to close to 0% with adequate planning. And next, you will be happy to hear that there is no requirement for local staff, office, or nominees. And finally, there is no paid up capital requirement to establish the business and obtain a license in Kazakhstan. So with that, I think you'll agree that for all of these reasons, Kazakhstan provides a very business-friendly environment to establish your Forex exchange and provide excellent service to customers from across all borders. I know that I've given you a lot to think about when considering your own Forex exchange, so let's wrap up with some of the most important items that we covered. From understanding the different types, physical and online, how they function, converting and transfer of funds, licensing and documentation, service providers, banks, brokers, payment gateways, and IT, and of course, the preferred destination of Kazakhstan. And most importantly, making sure that you get the help of reliable experts to ensure that you follow all of the rules and regulations in your jurisdiction. If you are thinking about setting up your own exchange, reach out as soon as possible to Empire Global Partners. They are your team of experienced and competent legal professionals with years of experience in the exchange sector, and they are here to help make the process so much easier for you. We love hearing from you, and we welcome all comments and feedback about this session or any other questions you may have. Please submit questions to info at empireglobal.partners. That will come directly to our representatives who monitor this email 24-7. Also check out the website, you can get in touch with them there as well, www.empireglobal.partners. We would love to connect with you on social media as well. We're on Facebook at Empire Global Partners, Twitter at Empire Globals, Instagram at Empire Global Partners, and we're also on YouTube. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. See you next time.